Okay, welcome to this video on multiplying and dividing integers with models. <clears throat> if you recall in the last video, we came up with some rules by noticing some patterns uh, that developed when we multiplied and divided uh, integers, positive and negative numbers. And in this video, we're going to use the same modeling uh, strategy that we use for adding and subtracting integers, okay? So from that, if you recall, we could represent a positive number, a positive 1, as a filled in green circle like that, or like this, with a positive sign, right? And we could represent a negative number like this, filled in red circle, or with a negative sign in parentheses like that, okay? So we we're, we're, need to recall that because we're going to use that to uh, work through some problems. Okay, so let's say that we had the problem uh, 2 times 3. Positive 2 times a positive 3. And from now on, I'm going to write this this way. It's more of what you will see in algebra, so it's good to get you ready for that. 3 times 2, right? 2 times 3, I should say. Positive 2 times positive 3 equals what? Well, I think you already know what that means, or what that equals, but let's, well, in fact, I know what you do, but let's model that with our red and green circles. Okay, so we are starting with a positive 2, correct? Positive 2. So we need to start like this. We'll put those in a row together. I should say a column together. Okay, so we have two right there, and this is telling us we have two positives, and we need three groups of those. So we've got one group, we need two groups, and three groups. So we can count those up, you see that we have a total of six, right? They're all green, so it's positive. Okay, easy enough. Now let's do negative two times a positive three see what we get okay so when we're modeling this we need to start with two negatives negative two right so start with two negatives We've got the red right because they're negative so negative two and we need three groups of those negative twos We've got two groups now now we've got three groups total is negative six right they're negative because it is uh, they are red right okay and if you remember from our rules up here a positive times a positive is always a positive a negative times a positive from our rules is always a negative right three times two <clears throat> three times two is always six and then we just apply the sign right three times two is always six we applied the sign it was positive three times two three times negative two will always be negative six okay now, uh, just to recap on the modeling part, if you're at home and you're just using a pencil, you can model this one this way with the negative sign in the parentheses, negative sign, negative, 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 and negative. Okay, that's fine. All right, same way. Okay, now let's do positive 2, positive 2 times a negative 3. Okay, from our rules, a positive times a negative is always a negative. So let's see how we can model this. Okay, what are we starting with? We're starting with 2, right? And is it positive or negative? It's positive. So we've got to start with two positives over here. Two positives. We need three groups of those. So there's our second group. Here's our third group. Now, here is the problem. We have... A negative sign right here so what do we do with that negative sign well that negative sign tells us to do the opposite of what we just did do the opposite of what we just did so we take all of this actually I want to do that in just blue we take all of this and we need to do the opposite with it because of this negative sign do the opposite so the opposite of six positives would be six negatives, right? The opposite of a positive is always a negative. The opposite of a negative is always a positive. Okay, so we're doing the opposite of what we just did, and here's our answer. It's 
a negative negative six equals negative six okay the key is that opposite part make sure you understand that you might have to watch this a time or two to get it make sure you do all right next example type negative two times a negative three okay from our rules a negative times a negative is always a positive right so let's let's see what happens here all right what are we starting with two negatives right it's a negative two negatives so here we go whoops pardon me let's fix that two negatives one two three columns of those I think I'm on a misspoke earlier and said rows remember columns go vertical so we have two rows three columns three groups of two okay and right now they're negative because that's what we started with now this sign right here this negative sign tells us we have to do what we started with two negatives this negative sign now tells us we have to do the opposite again same thing as we had before that's next that opposite that negative sign in this location tells us we have to do the opposite of what we just did so let's do the opposite so the opposite of six and negatives is six positives right so let's put the those over here one two three four five six all positive all green positive so this equals positive six okay all right now let's uh, let's check our rules here positive times a positive always a positive negative times a positive always a negative positive times a negative always a negative negative times a negative always a positive okay those check with our rules right all right let's move on to some division examples all right here we go we've got uh, we'll do some division now okay we've got a positive six divided by a positive two so let's model that so we start with what six positives and we need to split it into two groups we need to divide it into two groups so how can we model that well we can do it like this right We've got six total into two equal groups two equal columns here right two equal columns one column two columns so six total divided into two equal groups this is asking us how many are in each group three right you knew that three and it's all they're all positive let me do that in green because we have a positive right we have all green here so we're positive so we have this is one of our two groups this is another one of our groups so group one put G one G two three in each group right all positive okay now let's move on to the next example let's do a negative six I'm staying with all the same numbers here just changing the signs around so that you can get how this all combines together six divided by a positive two okay so what do we start with we're starting with six negatives right we need to split those into two equal groups two equal groups okay there's our two equal groups our six total each group has three in it so the answer is positive or negative negative right and always from our rules positive divided by positive equals positive negative divided by positive equals negative okay so we're lining up with our rules I'm gonna circle our two groups so we don't get confused We've got group one group two the answer is how many are in each group one two three negative okay all right next let's do six positive six divided by negative two all right what is that going to equal okay what are we starting with six positives right six positives we need those in two equal groups two equal groups all right we've got that now just like with our multiplication remember we've got this sign right here this negative sign telling us what telling us we have to do the opposite the opposite now we've got to do the opposite of what we just did so take all of these 
do the opposite opposite okay you know how to do that opposite of a positive is always a negative okay all right so we've got our two equal groups with three each group one group two they are all red they so this is negative negative three in each group I'm going to go back up here and fill that in, okay? Negative 3. Check our rules. A positive divided by a negative is always a negative. Check. We've got it. Okay? You probably know what's coming next. Negative 6 divided by a negative 2. What does that equal? All right, let's see. What do we start with? Six negatives, right? Let's start with our six negatives into two equal groups. Obviously, there's going to be three in each group. Okay, now, we've got our six negatives, just like this says right here. Now, we've got to address this, this negative sign right here. Now, we this is telling us, it's on the right side of the division sign. It is now telling us, hey, whatever you just did, do the opposite. So, now we've got to do the opposite. Get these opposite of what they are now. Okay, opposite. Opposite of a negative is what? positive right so we need to do this one two three four five six split into two equal groups three in each each group let's circle our groups there's group one three in it group two three in it all right these are all green which means this is a positive three each group has three positives in it okay all right great okay there's uh We've worked through some multiplying and dividing. Uh, you can this will apply to it, whatever numbers you use. The key here is to understand what the how we're applying these rules and we're using these models to help make the connection. So hopefully, utilizing these models will help you make the connection on what the rules actually mean and and where they came from. And this video may be may have made the connection for you and totally cleared everything up. It also may be a little bit odd to you, and you may have to watch it several times to make sure that you get it. But make sure you do that. Watch it as many times as you need to to make sure that you understand it. Because once you understand that, you've got it. You will have a thorough understanding of the concept of multiplying and dividing positive and negative numbers. Okay? All right. Well, I guess that's it for this video, so I will see you in the next one.